Lyre's arm slid around her waist as he took advantage of her distraction. His fingers trailed suggestively up her side. Would you get off? She twisted away, glaring as he laughed and leaned against the counter again. I just got in serious trouble and I'd like an excuse to punch something soft and bruisable. His eyebrows rose. The frog thing didn't go down well with the head, did it? Her shoulders slumped. You know? Everyone knows. He shrugged. It's not that big a deal. Aether is an emotional dipshit. Powerful, but a dipshit. My father thinks it's a big deal. She scrunched her face and tried not to whine. Why did Aether even have a pet frog? He's pretty amphibious himself, you know. He'll get over it. That frog was damn annoying. He slid a little closer. But if you need comforting, let me know. She slapped his hand away before it could reach her. Quit screwing around, Lair. I'm in serious trouble, don't you get it? I haven't had a chance to screw around yet, he complained. What's the big deal about a frog? She shot a cold look at Ash in answer. Still munching crackers, he opened the fridge to ponder its contents. She scowled at his back, then ducked past Lyre into the pantry. Grabbing a chocolate bar from the massive stack on the top shelf, she returned to the island. So? Lyre pressed. What's the big deal? It's just such a bad time. She mumbled as she tore open the wrapper. It would be seriously bad for the consoles to look powerless today. She took a huge bite, almost moaning as the chocolate melted on her tongue. Lyre watched her eat the chocolate bar with a little more intensity than was normal. And what's special about today? Ash reappeared from the fridge with a can of cream soda in hand. It wasn't fair. Even with a pink soda can and crackers, he was still frightening. So it's tonight then, he asked. They're moving it out of the consulate before morning? Her head jerked up in surprise. He met her stare, expressionless. Move what? Lyre asked blankly. She fought not to shrink under Ash's gaze. How did he know? Sure, the guy had a reputation for being in on just about every secret out there, but only a bare handful of people knew the classified object, the very one being discussed in the confidential meeting that night, was hidden in the consulate itself. The ambassadors who would be arriving in a couple hours didn't even know the object of contention was in the country, let alone in the manor. She almost said she wasn't at liberty to discuss it. I don't know, she answered instead, following a vague instinct that he would force it out of her if he knew she knew. His eyes narrowed for an instant. He suspected she was lying but didn't say anything. Just ate another cracker. I have a lesson to go to. As she walked out of the room, she glanced back. Ash stood at the counter, staring at nothing. Swallowing hard, she wondered what other secrets he had somehow unearthed. Because she had a few she didn't want anyone to know.